Welcome back to Desync. My name is Nilaus and we are here with another guide. This guide is all about setting up a mining operation. It is one of the things that you will spend a lot of time on in this game is uh, making sure that you have resources coming back to a base. So I will be uh, showing you how, what I've done. It is very light on automation. It is quite robust and it has some potential for being upgraded as you unlock more tech and we'll go into that as well. It, um, we're going to start by looking at this silica deposit because it's pretty close and that will be uh, basically what we're looking at. So it consists of uh, four different types of elements or miners or yeah, elements. Uh, they consist of the miners, they do the mining. It consists of uh, a storage one. Uh, storage one but this is the one that identifies where the resources are located and also stores it. Then it consists of the haulers that we see here. These haulers are now responsible. I don't. Oh, wow. You can slide down that one. Okay, cool. Um, these haulers are responsible for bringing stuff back home to the base. And uh, that's uh, all of those. Then I have one more uh, item here. And that's the ones you can see the two, three, two, one. Those are uh, power poles going out. And depending on your tech level, then that's, uh, that's something you will either need or not need at all. So I have, of course, prepared a little thing in advance. I have built the units that we need. And uh, we can go through each of the unit, what the purpose is, how they work, and um, what you sort of in terms of upgrades or downgrades, depending on where you are in tech level. Now, everything is using TwinBot, so I'm think saying this is at a TwinBot level. Uh, we're going to start with the core of it. This is the only one that actually has some uh, some big uh, automation. So that's, uh, that's the one we have here. Right. So uh, this is basically a, a warehouse that moves to the next mining operation. And once it's there, it just sits there and stores uh, stores items and it continually scans, as you can see here, scans for uh, more resources. It has some parameters and we'll go through this. It has a power pole to sort of power things around it. That's nice. And then it also has a storage. And this is just to make sure that it can store a lot more. If you don't have these available yet, then you just don't have as much storage. Then you can store 80 instead of 160. That's just the way it is. So let's look at the program. Uh, don't be too scared. This is uh, how it works. And I can explain it really simple. It starts with the radar. The radar will scan for a mineable object. It'll scan for the parameter that is stored in number two. If you don't understand this, then that's fine. You can just do it as I do. Basically, the only thing you need to put in here is tell it what to, to mine and then say infinite. There we go. Now it will continue to scan. In here, it scanned for a mineable object that is of the type P2. So that's silica in our case. Silica, set to infinite silica. If it finds something, it writes it into the parameter one, which is called distant from ore. If it doesn't find anything, it'll throw a warning to us. I'll set the warning up so that it's here. It'll set a warning because that means it has run out or it's sort of somehow just uh, didn't uh, fail to scan in, uh, in a cycle. But this is an indicator to me, the player that, hey, take action because maybe uh, this has run out of resources and so come back and take a look at it. Now, once we have identified with the scanner a location, then we take that and set a value of three. That means this is set the, no the distance of the storage bot from the ore and then we store it back into P1. Then we will set another number. We'll take the P1 but set it to infinite. This is how much we want to mine and that's infinite and then we'll move the unit to the location to P1, P1 being the distance from the ore. So what it means is this one, in layman's terms, will scan for silica. If it finds silica, it'll move three tiles away. If, uh, and then it'll also store, tell the miners with the signal command, hey, I found something, go here and mine. That's pretty good. And the miner bots, they are having no behavior, but they have like a convoluted setup here. They are using the data mining tool, if you don't have the laser mining tool, then you get it from the re-simulator by putting in the normal miner plus five data cubes, and then you get a laser mining tool. It's very much worth it, but if you can't afford it right now, then uh, just uh, build it with the normal one and then upgrade when available. I also have a virus protection. You don't really need that, but well, we have it here. Uh, on top of that, we have a signal reader, which is very essential. And all we need to do with this one is to sell, tell it that it is home on the storage part. That's it, because then it says the home of storybot, scan that, it'll read the signal. The signal is what the storage twin bot here has identified for mining. And once that's done, I will paste it into the other ones. And that's all good. So they are ready to uh, ready to go. 
Then now we have miners, we have a hauler, no, we have miners and we have the storage. We do not have any way to haul the items back again. So this will set, it's actually funny that they are set here. They should be set as a transport road. The transport road will be, will just need two items. It'll need a go-to location and then it'll need a storage location. That's where it brings things back. And that will be here. So it'll go to that one, take whatever there is, if there's something, and then it'll go back. Now, that's pretty simple. I will also build it, set these two so that I know what they're holding. Copy, paste, paste. How many do you need? Well, three if it's far away, two if it's not so far away, and one if it's next door. Cool. So this works, except, 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 except. What about when we need to go out? If we look at our power grid, then it only stretches out here. And since we're going to be mining silica, I have cleared this for biters, then it's going to be out here and then it won't have any power. So that's a problem. Or is it? The way I've solved that is with these mobile power poles. They have uh, numbers and uh, that is because they will then be working on getting as close as possible to, to uh, this, this minor bot here. So the way it works is that this number one will be linked with the behavior controller into, oops, that's the storage twin bot. Nope, don't go there. Um, there, save that as parameter, and then you scroll wheel up, and then I set it to 13. That is now the distance it wants to keep away from that location. So if you see, if I move it further away, it will by itself, move to a, tie, a 13 distance here. Number two is linked to number one, number three is linked to number two, four, and so on. That means we now have a chain that goes out and sort of make sure that there is a continuous line of power poles behind it that connects our home location with whatever is wherever it is outside. Later on, when you have better power or better tech, you can use the transmission and then hook up these here for direct, uh, direct power out there so you don't have to drag power poles behind you. That's um, it's pretty uh, it's pretty simple. So that's a it's a cool way of doing it. And what do we need to do? This one does have a limited range, so I'm going to be just dragging it down here. It has the command it needs, and we'll just get it into somewhere where it actually can see. Now we can see that one. There we go. So now it starts the scan, goes there, sets the parameters, identifies this, and it then sends a command to the miners. It has now identified this is the closest. Great. So it stands three tiles away. The reason why it stands three tiles away is because then there is room for the other ones to gather around. I only put four because otherwise they not always can, can fit here. So these will start mining. Great, happy, they are mining. Once they fill up, they will go back to the storage location. Uh, another thing that could be done would be actually getting this one to show how much we're actually doing here. And then just copy, paste, paste, paste. Then we can actually see what they're what they're doing. It's very nice. What we also see is that power pole number one has moved to a location that is now 13 tiles away from twin, from the storage bot. And it then has connected the electrical network here. The three, four and five stay. But as this goes out here and takes, gets all the way to this silica sand, then it will drag the power poles out and then it's uh, fully automated. We'll just wait for this one to complete. As we see them move back here, we'll see what happens at that point. So now we'll actually see something else, and that is the fact that they have completely mined out this location very quickly. And as that happens, they go back, and this one scans the next one, and then they just redirect the miners to the next one. And in the meantime, you can see all the three uh, uh, haulers, they went back, they got a little bit each, and then they went back, went back to that location. That is working absolutely brilliant, and uh, they will just be continuing to go back and forth, and we'll just continue to mine on this one look this location they'll go back here you can lock this up if you want just to make sure that it doesn't get anything else it doesn't really need it because the way that it works it should be there but you might just accidentally click on something and pick it up and then just sort of pollute your uh, your your build here and you can see when this one hits 80 very soon then it will just revert back now it's full go back and go back here that's how simple it is and as soon as one of these haulers come back It'll pick up whatever is there, pick up and go away. And the other ones, since there's nothing here, they will just stand by and idle until one of these return. And that's really all there is to it. 
this is uh, incredibly robust and we can look at how it works around these places here there's a uh, another one this is because there's just enough uh, uh, enough uh, quartz already we also have over here we have a uh, minor locations for iron as well and there's another one over here for iron and they're just uh, happily chucking along i also have another one for silica up here that's also working and they're just they're just uh, out there and i would recommend having it in the scale of of exactly as you see here one storage four miners two or three uh, haulers two haulers is definitely enough in this case but okay we'll uh, we'll take what we uh, what we can here and then if you don't have the trans the transmission yet then you use these power poles and you can definitely make it more advanced so things a few things that if you want to make it more advanced you can set up another uh, scan before to check if there are enemies nearby if there's enemy nearby then you can uh, uh, for example report it to the player and also set it to go home you can also do that you can uh, check whether it has lost power and then do something else i have a uh, a preference for keeping things as simple as possible when it comes to these programs so there will be a lot of contingencies that i don't handle here so for example scanning for enemies i don't want it to scan for enemies i simply want to make sure that i have already cleared out the area so that they don't get in trouble but of course there is the issue when you have something like this it will clear out this area this 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 and then sort of move up and then eventually there's a chance that it scans and goes out and explores out in the world but you know you're allowed to uh, use your brain yourself and check if things are working as they should so with these uh, set up we are now get to a position where we actually have enough uh, silica stored in our network we have enough uh, quartz we have enough uh, iron yay that's super amazing so we are actually ready to scale up and start working on something else we also need to get the blight going and all that and on top of that well not much uh, else for this build but I want to say that um, I've sort of op optimized some things in my base and I would, uh, I think I'll, I'd like to make a guide for how to control the hub so that it doesn't overproduce. And also uh, these builds here, these are sort of my standard builds now. They work really well in terms of, uh, of just uh, having a big production facility. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you have enjoyed this uh, video and learned some things that you can use in your own build, then uh, be sure to hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel for more uh, guides like this. And of course, if you want to get the blueprints, uh, the templates, all these things, they are already, these templates already exist. They are available in my save games. Uh, so, and also in the profile save that's available to patron supporters. So if you are a patron supporter, you can get access to all these things um, easily. Storage bot, and let's see, here's the, the hauler bot and there is the minor bot and that should be it uh yeah so you have those available if you, uh, you want to or you can just rebuild them yourself by pausing the video at appropriate times thank you very much for watching until next time take care and as always stay effective